What's going on, guys? You already know what time it is. It's time for Coffee and Crypto, where we sip our coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we talk about all things crypto. When you coming on in, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And then hit that bell notification so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. I appreciate it. Um... Just to let you guys know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Um, so this is just for entertainment purposes only, okay? So always do your own research before putting your money into anything. And as always, if you don't invest in yourself, who is going to do it right? So I'm not going to hold you guys long. You know I love to talk about cryptocurrency and NFTs and the metaverse just all together because they all coincide, right? So I found a couple of articles um, and regarding to NFT and gaming news that I'm really, really excited about, are you guys into NFTs? Are you guys excited about NFT gaming? Do you guys own any NFTs? Do you guys create any NFTs? Are you any of the artists out here? Let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to interact with you guys, okay? So I found an article on NFT plazas. And so it says Zed Run launches the Fibonacci Cup tournament, okay? So if you guys are into virtual horse racing or just gaming in general, this is um, something that maybe you could take a look at. So virtual horse racing platform Zed Run has launched its latest grand equestrian tournament. The Fibonacci Cup will see the greatest thoroughbreds on the blockchain battle it out for out and out domination. Guys, so initially horses will compete within their preferred distance funnel, separated into three brackets for sprinters, mid runners, and marathoners before competing in a series of races featuring all three distances in order to determine the overall winner so you can qualify for this until 12 a.m utc on november the 24th entrants must complete a minimum of 30 races representing their preferred distance funnel throughout this qualifying period points are awarded based on race position therefore horses with the highest average points will progress to the final stages the top 1152 racers will proceed to the next round divided into two separate contests and split between Evenly between tournament A and tournament B, where A represents the best courses. Okay, are you guys going to be up in it on it, okay? Because if you are, good luck, okay? So for the finals of the competition, they begin at 9 a.m. on November the 24th and continue through until the grand final at 11 p.m. on the same day. This manic day of incredible racing will see the field whittled down to just 12 races for each tournament who will then compete for the incredible prize pool. A grand total of over $100,000 is up for grabs with $73,730 reserved for Tournament A and $31,600 for Tournament B. Furthermore, each horse positioning first, second, and third in any race will receive a share of the winnings while these sharings increase as the tournament continues. So guys, if you guys are into um, virtual racehorse gaming um this is something that maybe you want to take a look at it's a chance you could win seventy three thousand dollars if you're in tournament a excuse me thirty one thousand dollars if you're in tournament b so it's just again just to bring everything back all together gaming metaverse everything that's dealing with the virtual community it's starting to skyrocket and boom these people are paying you real money to race virtual horses this is just something to take a look at because i'm you know I'm not a financial advisor or anything. This is just for entertainment purposes only. We brought this thing out together. I'm just going off of what I see. And my predictions are based off of my research and my knowledge and just watching how everything comes together, okay? So this is something you guys could take a look at. What's going on with Zed Run? It's a Fibonacci Cup tournament. And if you guys know anything about the Fibonacci sequence, the 369, um, that Tesla uh, had talked about, then you know the power of the 369 Fibonacci sequence, okay? So another article I found, now y'all know my Wi-Fi. y'all know my Wi-Fi. let me take a sip of coffee, why is this thing getting the gap, okay? Mm. Y'all coffee is just, it saves your life sometimes, you know, when you're grumpy, your morning might not be going too good, oh, it's cold outside like it is down south, it's a freeze morning down here. <sighs> you drink you a nice two or three, four or five cups of coffee. The world is all right then, you know? It just, everything just comes together. So let's keep it going. This is a big article I'm really excited about, guys. I keep telling you guys, 
even though I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm making my predictions off of my knowledge and my research and my experience inside of a uh, crypto community and the NFT community. Cryptocurrency, NFTs, and the metaverse, I'm telling you guys, they all go together hand in hand. They're all connecting hand in hand, and it's just only going to get bigger and better from here. Out of 7 billion people in the world, only 700,000 of us are involved in this community. Get in, stay in. Don't be afraid to talk about it to people. Don't be afraid to explain it to people, um, even if they don't want to listen. Someone out there will. And just keep it moving and hold your position and just make sure you're up to date and staying current on what's going on because you guys can be a part of something major as you're watching everything go from physical to digital. Okay, it's going to happen. It's happening now. It's been happening for a while now. Honestly, it's just becoming bigger and bigger. So just keep your ears to the ground or to the motherboard. <laughs> and just, you know, stay in the loop because you guys can not only just make money, you guys can be a part of a major, major transition that we are involved in in our lifetime, right? It's just a wonderful time. So EA calls NFT and blockchain games the future of our industry. If you know about this, wonderful. Next time, let me know. Let a sister know. Leave it in the comment section, okay? If you didn't know about it, we're learning this together. You guys know how big EA is? EA Sports is in the game. It's in the game. Come on now. They're calling NFTs and blockchain games the future of our industry. EA CEO Andrew Wilson called NFT and play to earn games the future of our industry, but added it's still early to figure out how that's going to work when asked about the topic during companies earnings all week. Of course, we're trying to figure out how it's all going to work. That's why a lot of these companies um, and a lot of these blockchains and DeFi networks are coming out with game testers just to see how these things are going to play out. I think that these things are going to go wonderfully together. They're going to go hand in hand. EA starts accepting Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, Sheep, uh, Litecoin for game purchases or pays you um, for competitions inside of the game and not only pays you with some of the coins, but maybe gives you an NFT to go along with it, a collectible EA NFT to go along with it that will boost sales in the game and exposure to the game. And of course, like I tell you guys all the time, anytime you see something that is... Um, starting to use these coins in circulation as a form of currency, you know the profit is going to be there, okay? So I think that in context of the games we create and the and the live services that we offer, collectible digital content is going to play a meaningful part in our future, Wilson said. So it's still early to tell, but I think we're in a really good position and we should expect us to kind of think more innovatively and creatively about that on a go forward basis. OK, so EA has yet to officially step into the NFT and play to earn a blockchain space that has been growing for the past few years. Play to earn games often require players to pay an upfront cost through cryptocurrency to play the game and collect unique in-game items. Those items can then increase in value and be sold to other players. It's common for players to also have input on the game's development as their monetary state increases the overall game value. Guys, I've actually been playing this game called... Um, that's crazy. It just like left my mind. But anyway, what do you guys think about the NFT and blockchain games? Do you think EA should be a part of the movement? We already know that we have Solana dealing with the, the Geno um, animals or the Geno pets. Um, Where we have uh, AMC, the movie theater is dealing with collectible um, NFTs and trying to create their own coin. We know we have the photographer that is coming out with collectible NFTs that is the famous sports photographer from Sports Illustrated. We have um, a lot of gaming networks. Uh, Shitoshi uh, is supposed to be coming out with their NFT gaming, okay, with the Shiba Inu um, NFTs. So a, a lot of people and a lot of um, companies are looking at NFTs and crypto and saying, okay, how can I be involved in this? If I already have a crypto coin, how can I get my coin involved in NFTs and the NFT gaming industry to incentivize people? So you can be able to play to earn. So you can play these games, earn crypto currency, 
to buy collectible NFTs or just earn crypto. If you buy, if you're playing a game and you're earning crypto or NFT, both are very valuable. So I say she can give me the NFT or the crypto, either one. And then we also have, what was it, Octi that we talked about in a couple of videos ago where they're doing it ad-free so you don't have to worry about any ads distracting you. You can actually focus in on what you have going on in the space. And then they also um, incentivize you with actual cryptocurrency or cash prizes to buy either inside of their platform or just real world things. So all of these things coincide with one another. Um, I see that the NFT community is just as big as the crypto community. All of these things go hand in hand, guys. And ultimately, they're all going to be a part of the metaverse. So tell me what you guys think. Leave some comments in the comment section below. If you're loving the content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and then hit that bell notification so you can get notified each time I upload a new video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Just wanted to give you guys a little heads up that I've been reading on and doing some research on just to give you guys some more information and how do you feel about this NFT and gaming. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are really excited about it. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. <laughs>